Okay, we're going to be doing some uh, carburetor cleaning today using uh, Pine Sol, water, and a Harbor Freight ultrasonic cleaner. And we got it uh, heating up right now. We're going to let it uh, get up to temperature there and then we'll continue this video. Okay, this is the other half of our uh, carb cleaning process. This is the, actually the first part. Um, you can see I've got the uh, carburetor body in there. It's already starting to to break that gunk down a little bit there. We're going to let it soak for about 20 minutes and give it a look, see what it looks like after that. Um, I didn't want to put the top piece of the carb in there with the needle and seat because this stuff will tear that up. So you got a better chance of using the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. doesn't seem to damage it as bad. So we're going to put this back in and let it soak for a while. This is what I use, the Berryman's Chem Dip. Um, I think I got it at Napa or O'Reilly's, one of them. Uh, pretty good product. It does really good. I use this as the initial clean and then after that I, I throw this into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner with the solution there and let it go. Run it through several cycles and just don't get in a hurry with it. So, But I have found out that using this it does turn out a lot better by using this stuff first and letting it soak in there and that carb will come out looking like new. Sometimes you gotta scrub it with a toothbrush a little bit put it back in there and let it soak again for that real heavy duty stuff, so we'll continue this. Okay, I ran it through three 480 second cycles there with the heat on this part, on the uh, upper part there, the needle and seat assembly. And this did not go in the chemical bath, this just went in here on the uh, pine saw and water. And as you can see, there's a little, just a little bit of crud left in there, but and the needle and seat is nice and free now. So put that in the camera there. Before it was, it was a little bit sticky. So that's got it loosened up really well. I'm going to run it through a few more cycles, and then after the other piece gets done in the dip, the main body, I'm going to put it in here and run it through again. So we'll check back here and here and okay. Here we are out of the out of the dip. It's probably been in there for about probably I don't know about a half hour. You can see it's pretty well. There's a there's still a few spots there. But I'm going to stick it in the ultrasonic and see if it'll bust it up. See if it'll get all the inside clean. And so we're going to stick it in here and run it through a cycle or two. I'm not going to get in much of a hurry. And we'll put the lid back on. And we'll turn it on. And we'll run it through a few cycles there and then we'll, we'll come back and show an update and see how it did there. Okay, we've ran this through about four cycles. And, whoops. Pull it out and take a look at it. Well, look at that, it's all gone. Thing shined up, that took no scrubbing. That was just put in there with the pine saw and the ultrasonic clean. There's the, there's the other piece I'm going to do next. 
Let's take this one out here. Yeah, look at that. That came really clean. I'm going to give it a good rinse and reassemble it. Make sure to, oh, steaming up the camera there. Get everything reassembled there, blow out all the, make sure all the water's out. And see how it works. I think that works pretty good with that ultrasonic clean and the, uh, the car, to use the carb dip to take off the heavy stuff and then just use this ultrasonic. Like I said, it, even that, the uh, gunked up residue on there, it ended up taking that out of there, so. I'm impressed with the way that it works there. Thanks for watching.